So I wanted to shoot a quick, uh, quick video. Um, uh, I've got a very, very small YouTube channel. Uh, coming up on maybe 600 subscribers, and uh, every once in a while I get a lot of views because I get featured in Hackaday or something like that. Um, and so I don't know how many views, but you know, a, a reasonable number for statistics to probably be valid. And I was looking at my analytics the other day. It's kind of fun to see, you know, who watches the show. Uh, you know, some people in uh, England or some other place. You can kind of see certain interests and groups and stuff, or the uh, the age of the of the group or something like that. And uh, one of the things that really really surprised me is I have zero viewership um, from females. Um, and uh, it got me thinking of something that actually um, really stuck with me. It was an advertisement. Um, I believe I saw the advertisement in Scientific American, but it first appeared in the Atlantic um, in, I believe it was 1985. And uh, I, I only found a, a kind of a, a bad photograph of it. I couldn't find a good print, but, but here's the photograph. Uh, this is an advertisement from IBM. And uh, I'll read you the words. Um, but it, it basically said, um, guess which one will grow up to be the engineer? And all it showed was blue baby slippers and pink baby slippers. And, um, you know, by 1985, women had entered the workforce. It wasn't the 70s. The 70s was quite low for women in the workforce. But by the 80s, there was quite a few women in the workforce. And um, um, it was actually a pretty strong number of women who had gotten into computers and things, but not engineering. Um, and I just, this, this advertisement just really stuck with me over the years. Um, and I wanted to see how, how things were doing. With the time, in 1985, this was written, IBM claims that only 4% of the engineers are women. 13% um, were of math and science PhDs. And... Um, 31% of computer programmers were women. So women were actually quite strong in computer uh, programming um, from the way back days. Um, if you don't know who Grace Hopper is, go to, go to Google and look up Grace Hopper. Um, she is one of the most amazing uh, female programmers of all time. She invented uh, programmable languages. She invented COBOL. Um, she was part of the Navy. Uh, she eventually became a rear admiral. Um, very, very impressive woman. Um, I had a chance to hear her when I worked for the Navy for a couple summer jobs. And uh, she was something else, let me tell you. Um, I, have a, I have a good story to tell, but uh, maybe save that for another day. So, so this advertisement, like I said, really stuck with me. Um, so I wanted to see how we were doing since 1985 and why I get zero viewership. Um, this is an interesting graph. Uh, let's see if I can, if I can zoom down. Here you go. Hopefully you can read that. I'll point things out. So, uh, this is a graph of, uh, women in, in, uh, in the workforce. Um, and, uh, we have, uh, from 1970 to 19, uh, to 2010, so 1970 to 2010. So you can see that women are slowly, um, not, not slowly, but you know, at a good clip, uh, entering things like medical school, law school, and the physical sciences. So uh, women are, are doing great. You know, they're up to maybe you know 45, 50 percent. You know, so they're doing great. But the red line is computer science. Um, and right here at 1985, when they were at 30% of the workforce, they've disappeared. Um, and I'm just kind of shocked by that. I, I, I don't really understand that. Um, they're now down to maybe 15%, something like that. Um, so a very interesting trend. Um, now, this is for, uh, this is the best scenario. This was where women were really, really strong and suddenly just decided, hey, that wasn't for them. I don't, I don't know why. Um, probably ugly things that us males do. Um, but uh, this is interesting. Um, this again is uh, uh, female engineers uh, uh, or females in the workforce. This is again from 1970 to 2010. 
um, you can see uh, kind of a turnaround of computer workers. It falls down. Everything else is on the up uptick. But engineers, so this bottom line is, is all engineers included, um, basically has stayed flat from 1990 to, 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 to today. Um, and they claim 13% are engineers. Um, uh, that may, I, I don't know exactly what field that is, if it's electrical engineering or mechanical engineering or whatever engineering. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's very low and it's not going anywhere. Even though we try to get a lot of females into the workforce, they seem to be going into the biotech and things like that. Uh, we don't seem to be uh, doing very well with getting engineers into the nerdy stuff that uh, my channel is interested in. Um, so anyway, uh, something to think about. I uh, don't know what's going on, but uh, my 0% uh, viewership kind of falls out of this data.